All right, guys, let's get started with our strength mat class. Today, we're gonna be focusing on core and arms. Hands to your thighs, draw your navel up to your spine, drop your head and your tail, and then find the opposite, reaching your tail and your head away. Reaching up and through. Just finding a little bit of motion, a little bit of movement through that body. We're gonna be taking it down to the mat. And we're gonna start with our ball first. And two more. One more time. Here we go. Take that ball, we're gonna place him right in between your knees in those inner thighs. We're gonna come right away into a knee hover. So this is gonna start to get our internal temperature heated up. Tuck your toes, ball is tightly squeezed in between your inner thighs, press through your hands and feet, hover and squeeze that ball and lower. Hover and squeeze and lower. Hover and squeeze and lower. Not worrying about how high or how low you're hovering. Think about that connection to the breath every time you squeeze that ball. Keep your spine as long and neutral as possible. So we're not worrying about rounding up or making any kind of cat and cow shape. Just find that internal squeeze. Good, we're gonna add on here in two more. Next time you squeeze the ball, hold it. Spike your hips up, come back to your pike. And then we're gonna come down to knee hover here, squeeze the ball. Press up and stretch. Dropping those heels, lowering down to hover. Totally fine if the knees have to stay bent at the top of your pike. Dropping the heels if you want that extra stretch, coming down to hover. Open up that chest as you shift forward. Using that breathing. Good, you're gonna start to feel those inner thighs lighting up. Now we're gonna come down to hover and squeeze that ball for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, knees come down. Take that ball out. Nicely done. We're gonna go right into a little bit of work for our side waist here. Grab one of your weights. Find a kneeling shape. Take your left leg out to the side. Feel free to pad up or roll up your mat underneath your bottom knee here. I'm gonna take my left hand behind my head. I'm gonna reach down towards the ground here. Reach and lift and reach and lift. Beautiful, less about can I touch the floor, more about length and reach to that bottom arm. If you tap the floor, great. If you don't, great. Good, push down through that bottom foot and you're gonna start to feel that work begin in that side waist, inhale over, exhale lift, inhale over, exhale lift. And we're gonna take three more just like that. We're gonna start to add a twist in two. So next time you come all the way up, I want you to grab the two heads of the weight. I'm gonna have you rotate at the top, keep your weight at your chest, and fall into that side bend. Rotate and twist. Side bend. Beautiful, so we've taken away that little touch to the floor. Still trying to find that side reach. Really using that breath, squeezing that left side waist. Inhale over, exhaling up. Inhaling over, exhaling up and twist. We've got three. And two. Now next time you rotate towards your left hold. Now you're gonna start to lean away until you feel that work in your side waist. We're gonna take a little pulse up for eight. Exhale, seven. Exhale, six. Draw that navel to the spine. Five, feel that left waist. Four, we're gonna put the weight down in three. Hands come to the mat in two. 
and one. Beautiful. We're gonna come into a little crisscross plank here. Step your feet back behind you. We just worked the left waist. So I'm gonna cross my right foot behind my left and I'm gonna let my hips do a little dip down and to center. And then I'm gonna go to the other side. Cross and center. So it's a little crisscross. Crisscross to the left. Crisscross to the right. Now you can really feel that left waist, that one we just worked, super ignited as you cross towards your left. At any time, you're more than welcome to come to forearms. You're more than welcome to grab a chair and place those hands just a little bit higher. Giving your body what it needs. We have one more to each side and then we're gonna stay to the left. Here we go, stay to the left. Feel that left waist. You're gonna push through the both hands equally. Squeeze up through the bottom waist for 10. Exhale up nine. Exhale up eight. Putting knees down and doing this from the knees is always an option as well. Four, three, two, and one. Coming back to center, knees come all the way on down. Nice work. Grab your ball next, and we're gonna come down onto our right side. Then place it right underneath your right rib cage. So I'm a little below my armpit so that I can have space to take my hands behind my head. Feel free to shift the ball up or down depending on what you need. Now I'm gonna take arm and leg, and I'm gonna reach those two sides together thinking about left waist engaging. Press and release. My bottom elbow is coming off the mat. However, if that's not happening for you today, feel free to keep that bottom elbow down. Exhale. Exhale. So that bottom rib is pushing into that ball. And I'm thinking about that left side waist working through as I lift. That's it. Keep breathing. Exhale, reach. I'm gonna to start to take both hands behind my head. And I'm gonna pull my knee to my chest. Good, almost like I'm bringing bottom elbow towards top knee. Little rotation towards that knee. Exhale, pull it in. Exhale. Exhale. We have four. And three. And two. And one. Coming back to center, we're gonna come right back into that crisscross plank. So I have hands to the mat, I've got feet down to my mat. Crossing right leg over, dip those hips to the left. Step and dip to the right. Step and dip to the left. Step and dip to the right. Beautiful. We're gonna be coming into that right side. In four. And three. And two. And one. Releasing those knees all the way down. Great job, coming into the right side. Grab that free weight. Send your right leg open to the side. And we'll take right hand behind the head. Inhale, heel side bend over, reaching for the floor. And then exhale, coming right on up. Inhale over, exhale up. Inhale over, exhale up. If having that right Hand holding the free weight is putting any tension in your shoulder, in your neck. I want you to either put it to the side or take your free weight to your chest. Inhale, side bend over. Exhale, bring it on up. Inhale over. Exhale, bring it up. Keep that consistent breathing. Three more. We're gonna add a twist in two. 
then one more time, swap that grip to the outside edges of your free weight. Find that rotation first, square off, dip into your side bend, squeeze that weight and rotate. Inhale, side bend, exhale, rotate. Good, now you can find the level of intensity that's working for you, bringing your chest all the way up before you rotate. It's gonna give you a slightly different sensation than keeping your body a little bit leaning back in that twist. So think about where you are feeling the work, keeping your hips really square, feeling those abdominals pull back as you rotate, watching for the chest, starting to turn towards the ground. Good. Keeping that chest as square as possible, making sure that work stays away from your back. We have two more. Now we're gonna stay in the twist. Lean it back slightly, squeeze that weight, and engage that right side to lift you up for eight. Up for seven. Finding that little notch right above your hip, six. Five, keep pulling that right hip back, four, squaring off. Three, great job. Two, crisscross plank. Set that weight down. Take those hands to your mat and cross that left foot back behind the right, allowing that right hip to dip down. Step and cross to the left. Step to the right. Step to the left. Step to the right. Beautiful. We have four more sets here. We're gonna hold that dip to your right in two more. Good, here we go. Hold it to the right. Hips are dipping towards your right. Push down equally through both hands. Squeeze up through that waist for 10. Exhale up nine. Exhale up eight. Exhale up seven. Exhale up six. Exhale up five. Four. Three. Two. One. Knees come all the way down. You're gonna grab your ball. Okay. Lying onto your side. Place that ball right underneath your left rib. So again, a little lower than your armpit and allowing that top leg to go long. Hand cradles the head, reach arm and leg towards one another, contract your right waist. Exhale, lift. Exhale, lift. Beautiful, again, if lifting that bottom elbow is not working for you, just think about pulling that rib towards hip, hip towards rib, finding that work. Exhale, lift. The higher that ball is, the more support you get from it. So if it's feeling really challenging to lift that upper body, see what happens if you roll that ball just a little bit higher towards your underarm. We have two more, just like this. Hands are gonna be, come behind the head and you're gonna pull knee towards chest. I'm thinking about a slight rotation. So trying to bring my bottom elbow towards my bottom or my top knee. Good, you'll notice that this has gotta be slow and controlled lest you roll right off that ball. <laughs> Keep breathing. Finding that contraction through the side. We have just one more of those twisted planks coming up. Crisscross plank in three more. Two more. One more. And release it all the way down, great. Take that ball away, set it off to the side, crisscross plank for the very last time. Hands find your mat, feet come back behind you. Now we're gonna take this a little wider this time. So separate your feet about the width of your mat, maybe a slightly in from it. Good, stepping a little bit wider each time. It's just gonna give you a little extra challenge. Stepping, dip, 
step, dip, step, dip, step, dip. Breathing all the while. We have four more. Four. And three. And two. And one. Square it off to center. Pike your way back on up. Breathe. Excellent. Bringing those knees all the way down to your mat. We're going to grab for both free weights and come into a little bit of our arm work. So let's find a kneeling shape, bringing yourself all the way up, and you're going to slide your right knee slightly in front of your left. So you're on a little bit of a stagger. More than welcome to grab a pillow or a pad or roll up your mat if you need to protect your knees at all. I'm going to bring my weights into a bicep curl. Now I'm just holding this stagger stance in my legs. Again, doesn't have to be big. And I'm trying my best to square my body. Easy in my neck. I can feel that my left hip wants to pull back a little bit. And so I'm actually continuing to work my obliques right now, my, and my abs, to actively keep my hips square. So enjoy that little extra bit of core work here as we take this opening arm series. Great job. We have three. We're going to change up those arms in two. Last one, you're going to find a goal post position here. Sit my hips back towards my heels, turn, weights and elbows come towards one another, and then square it off as I come to center. Inhaling down. Exhaling open. Because I'm turning towards my back leg, towards the left here, it feels like my right arm is coming to meet my left a little bit and then opening right back up. Reach and, and rotate. Reach and rotate. We're gonna have a fun little thigh work moment here. While we get our arms. Legs are always working. We have three. And two, great job. Last one, you're gonna hold in that sitting back towards your heels position. And I'm gonna stop about halfway. I'm just gonna open and close my arms for eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, three, two, Come back to square. Elbows come into your sides. Knees are in the same line. I'm gonna pull my elbows back as I sit my hips back. Head stays as lifted as possible and press those arms forward. Inhale back, exhale forward. Inhale back, exhale forward. Press. I'm keeping a slight bend in my elbows as I press my arms forward just so I don't feel like I'm locking out my elbows. And I can really feel the work continue to challenge my bicep rather than getting into my neck and the tops of my shoulders here. The next time I come forward, I'm gonna hold up high. I'm gonna lower lift for eight. Really think about pushing those arms up seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now I'm gonna slide my left knee forward than my right. I'm gonna come right into that bicep curl again. Here we go, up and down. Curling on up. Now check in with those hips. This is where we get that core work. Just trying to really square off, pulling that left hip back, squaring my right hip forward all about the chest and the biceps and the shoulders today. Good, keep breathing. Keep squaring off those hips. See if you can send those fronts of the thighs even longer as you lift. Four, three, arms are gonna find that goal post next in two. And we're gonna take that twist. Here we go, goal post with the arms. I'm gonna rotate towards my right, sit back and then open those arms back up. 
at the top, trying to pull my left hip back, squeeze shoulder blades together slightly. Inhale back, exhale open. Inhale back, exhale open. Inhale back, exhale open. We have a last five. I'm gonna have you hold in the twist about halfway down, so where you feel the work in your legs. Here we go, let's find that halfway kneel. Hold, just open the arms for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, almost there. Two, we're gonna square off towards the center here. Knees are even, we're gonna press those arms all the way up, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down. So we're getting a little bicep curl at the end. And I'm thinking about making a little W shape with my arms here. So I'm keeping this little external rotation. Great, up and down and up and down. Keep squeezing those hips nice and tall and up and down. We'll take last four, last three, last two. Great job, last one, you're gonna hold those arms at 90 degrees. You're gonna pulse those uh, weights up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, we're gonna do another set of pulses here with the arms. The only thing we're gonna change here is I'm gonna have you hinge back. So I'm gonna lean back, keeping my glutes squeezed until I feel some work in my thighs. Pulse again for eight, seven, six, five, whoo, four, three, two. I'm gonna send my hips back every time I release the weights. And I'm gonna curl my weights up as I squeeze my hips forward for eight. At the top, I'm trying to stay in that lean back, seven. So I'm really getting that work in my legs, six, five, four. We're gonna cap this off with one more set of pike to plank into finishing how we started. Last one, set those weights on down, great job. Tuck the toes back behind you, give yourself that stretch that you've been yearning for. Extend those legs long, drop the heels, great. Now I'm gonna have you lift and lower your heels in this pike. So lifting your heels up, lowering your heels down. This is our last moments here. Enjoy this lengthening across the back of the legs. Again, if you need to keep your knees bent, be my guest. Grand finale. We're gonna rock that weight forward towards those hands and keep going with that lift and lower with the heels. Whew. Things are getting a little spicier here as we shift forward and back. Forward and back. Very good. Finishing off in eight, seven, six, five. Breathing four, three, two. Child's pose is coming. Here it is. Knees come down. Child's pose. 